My name is Lisa Walker and I am art teacher and ceramic artist from Westwood, Massachusetts. I went to art school in Skidmore College up in the state of New York. So I started in the clay department and then I did photography and I did painting. I did a bunch of different things. I ran into a friend who said she was taking pottery lessons and I said, I have to do that. So I started back in about 15 years ago and that's all I've been doing. But I've been able to use a lot of my skills that I learned in college, how to take good pictures of my work, how to bring my ideas to draw or put together a collection to my pottery. I have been doing a lot of teaching as well, where I, I teach two-dimensional art, three-dimensional art, and pottery to students of all ages. I love teaching. It makes my work better because I get to see it from the other point of view. I teach kids mostly hand building and I teach adults wheel throwing and hand building. I've been doing this fun thing over in Dedham called Clay and Chardonnay where if you just want to see if you like the clay, because some people don't, they come in and they go, oh, I don't really like the way that feels. Um, and other times people are like, oh my gosh, I can't get enough, I need to take a class. So I'm now doing Zoom classes, which are a little different because if you don't have a wheel at home, it's not gonna work. The more that you do art and try different types of art and explore things and have fun, it's a great way for kids to have a few more tools in their toolbox and adults. Especially with ceramics, it gives you a different type of community. I'm teaching them, they're learning from me, I'm learning from them, but it becomes much more. I use the clay to tell my story. So for example, I took a trip to Barbados in January and I did a lot of sketching while I was there. I took a lot of photographs and when I came home I decided that I would do my spring collection about that trip. So I went through the stuff that I had and decided what would work to tell my story best. I then usually warm up with my basics collection which are mugs and things like egg separators and little bowls to kind of get my muscle memory back and then I start to create the pieces out of functional work. Then I will carve or draw or decide specific glazes that will work to tell my story so that when someone comes to see my collection they will be taken on the journey that I was on. It will be different from any other story because it's just my story. So all my work is one of a kind. Besides my basic collection, I never revisit collections per se. Some of them I do, but they change each time. Some will say, oh, do you have that thing that you made last time? And I'll say, no, but I might have something like it. And I feel that for people that collect my work, that they get individual new stuff, especially with gift giving, that nobody else is gonna be giving the same thing because it's never the same. My favorite thing to work with is white stoneware, like a white canvas. And so the glazes look really nice on those. I also like to use low fire clay and I like to use brown clay. And the reason is so that I can remember which is low fire and which is high fire in my studio because they fire at different temperatures. So if I mix them up or I uh, put them together, that would not be, that would not be good. Um, I teach with low fire clay, with brown clay. It's really easy to hand build and wheel throw with. I also really like using Raku glazes on some of my white stoneware. Raku is a process that is quick. It makes these beautiful shiny glazes, but it is non-functional. So it, it's quick, meaning it gets hot, you pull it out, you stick it in something else, and it cracks. And so you get these one-of-a-kind surfaces that are beautiful, but you can't fill them with water and you can't drink coffee out of them. So they're more sculptural pieces. So all of my work stopped when everything closed down because I couldn't have any in-person classes. All of my sales were canceled. So the collection that I worked with on, the Barbados collection, no one ever saw, which was sad because one of the things I find really interesting about sales is you get feedback and someone picks it up and they say, oh, I love this, I would use it for X. And then you say, huh, that's interesting. I didn't think about it like that. So that part of the process, it was a loss. I teach after school in Newton and I was about five classes into a 14-week session and my boss said what do you want to do and I said let's try it virtually uh, I was an art history minor so I love learning about the history of art and so I designed a program that talked about the cultural piece of ceramics and learning about 
the Ming Dynasty through vases and the theme that might be on the outside. And I started incorporating two and three dimensional paper projects. And that was pretty successful. I did a camp this summer on Zoom and it was really nice to be with the kids. My work changes based on what I'm doing in my life. For example, the quarantine was really, really tough. And so I have some different types of pieces. I have some little houses that I made because I have first responders in my neighborhood and I was thinking about them. I don't want to look back and remember too much of this. I would like to move forward and make new work that celebrates life. The best place to get information about me is on my website, which is www.lisawbwalker.com. And on there, I have a video of my latest work where I talk about it. I do contactless curbside delivery, shipping, anything like that, just through email, which can be accessed on my website. The other information about me, like classes, I have all that information on there as well.